Good morning, welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is October 31st, and it's uh, Reformation Day. And also, some people would say this is Halloween. Okay, so. All right. We begin with the confession of sin on page 12. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God, and we'll just pause for a moment. We say together, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have not done things we ought to have done, and we have done things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant the most merciful Father for his sake that we be now godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution or remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make to us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And to us the beginning, now, and ever shall be. Praise the Lord. Lord On page 14, you'll find the Venite. And we'll use the Venite on page 14 to the bottom of the page. We say together, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show us of glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. We now have the psalm reading, which is Psalm 2, and the New Testament reading. Psalm 2 begins on page 270 in the Book of Common Prayer. Why do the nations so furiously rage together? And why do the peoples devise a vain thing? The kings of the earth stand up, and the rulers take counsel together. Against the Lord, against his anointing. Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. He who dwells in heaven shall laugh them to scorn. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then shall he speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his great anger. I myself have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. He said to me, You are my son. This day have I begotten. Ask of me, and I shall give you the nations for your inheritance. And the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall bruise them with a rod of iron. And break them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, O you kings. Be warned, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord in fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, for his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all those who put their trust in him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The New Testament lesson this morning 
is from the book of the Acts of the Apostles, the eighth chapter, beginning with the fourth verse. Now, those who were scattered went about preaching the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the Christ. And the crowds, with one accord, paid attention to what was being said by Philip when they heard him and saw the signs that he did. For unclean spirits, crying out with a loud voice, came out of many who had them, and many who were paralyzed or lame were healed. So there was much joy in that city. But there was a man named Simon, who had previously practiced magic in the city and amazed the people of Samaria, saying that he himself was somebody great. They all paid attention to him, from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the power of God that is called great. And they paid attention to him because for a long time he had amazed them with his magic. But when they believed Philip as he preached good news about the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Even Simon himself believed, and after being baptized, he continued with Philip. And seeing signs and great miracles performed, he was amazed. Now, when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent to them Peter and John, who came down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For he had not yet fallen on any of them, but they'd only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. Now, when Simon saw that the Spirit was given through the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money, saying, Give me this power also, so that anyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, May your silver perish with you, because you thought you could obtain the gift of God with money. You have neither part nor lot in this matter, for your heart is not right before God. Repent, therefore, of this wickedness of yours, and pray to the Lord, that if possible, the intent of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are the gall of bitterness and the bond of iniquity. And Simon answered, Pray for me to the Lord, that nothing of what you have said may come upon me. Now when they had testified and spoken the word of the Lord, they returned to Jerusalem, preaching the gospel to many villages of the Samaritans. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. On page 17, you'll find the Te Deum. And just to mix things up, what we'll do today is I will read to the asterisk, then you can complete the uh, verse, okay? <clears throat> we praise you, O God. We claim you as Lord. All creation worships you, Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven. The cherubim and seraphim sing an endless prayer. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Church Father of Majesty. Yep, let's see. Yep, that's right. Father of Majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise. And the Holy Spirit, advocate in God. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven for all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people. Walk the price of your own blood. And bring us with your saints. Glory and blessings. The Apostles' Creed is found on page 20. And we'll say this together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us to justice. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, as we live among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now we'll have a time for extemporaneous prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your glory, for your power, and for your unending love for us. Uh, we know that you have a curate uh, or an associate pastor for us, and we um, praise you for this person and ask that you would reveal them soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, Heavenly Father, we, we are so thankful for all the blessings you pour over us. <laughs> so many blessings you poured over us, beginning with this church, beginning with new families that are coming to us, new children. And last week, certainly our blessings were bountiful. We had the bishop here Monday and... Uh, New people were received, or we just had a wonderful service with him Monday night. And Saturday, his wife was here and led the women in a quiet day, a day of retreat, a much needed day of being with you in the spirit and recharging our batteries. And we thank you for this time. And we ask now that you would lead us each day, uh, that you would show us the things that you want pursued by the faithful at Christ the King. And that you would help us this week and always to seek your will, to remember to hold up Father Pete and his family in our prayers, Bishop Stephen, Deacon Bill, and yes, that the new deacon, the new associate priest, whom you know, you know who that is, that you would bring him to us and that you would give us the wonderful gift of patience which does not come naturally to us. That when the time is right, you will reveal to us who this man is, that we can welcome him into our midst. Thank you, Lord.
This morning, we're going to be using the general thanksgiving, which is found on page 25. Page 25, general thanksgiving, and we'll say the general thanksgiving together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants. Give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all of the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.